Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Multimatic 255 by Miller. So today in this video, we're going to go over uh, the features, what it comes with, uh, who's it good for, uh, who wants this machine, or who, who should buy this machine, and then uh, what I like and don't like about it. Um, so let's just jump right into this whole video. So I got it unboxed here. Uh, I got the Multimatic 255 with TIG kit and Easy Latch cart, so that's the demo I got in. Uh, there's three different packages for this Multimatic. So you can just get Multimatic machine only, you can get Multimatic with Easy Latch cart, or you can get Multimatic with Easy Latch cart and TIG kit. So there's three different packages, we'll link those down below. So pretty simple. Um, the Easy Latch cart, we'll link that video down below, but that is a cart that this machine goes on and without any tools you can undo it and take the machine off the cart. So if you have to transport this uh, or put it in the bed of your truck, it's easy. You can just undo the cart, throw the cart in your truck, throw this in your truck, and it's two separate pieces. Um, the TIG kit, what that comes with is a foot pedal TIG torch, the adapter cord, a regulator hose, and then obviously it works an AKC, oh, it's a little kit with consumables. So you got nozzles, tungsten, collet, cot bodies, that sort of thing in there. Um, so on the 255, and where it's been really popular is you can MIG and TIG weld with it. So this is the Multimatic. They also make a version that only MIG welds. But on this unit we got the Multimatic so we can DC only TIG weld. So we'll jump right up to the front of the screen. We got our on off switch over here to the right hand side. USB port. That's for updates, upgrades, that sort of thing. You can get them on Miller's website. So we got MIG, stick, TIG. Auto set and then this thing will pulse. So also an accessory you can get with this. You can run a spool gun, so a spool mate 200, uh, an XR30A, or you can run a push pull gun on this unit, and you can pulse weld with it as well. So in MIG we got 18 volts, but we can also set up auto set. So it's going to give us our breakdown, and then auto set. If you guys are familiar with it, gives us our stand or recommended voltage and wire feed speed, given the material thickness, wire size and gas that we're running. So auto set is, um, is a synergic line. I'm gonna give us this auto set feature, but we'll shut that off, we'll, we'll jump over here. We'll go over to stick here. So it's telling us to flip flop the leads. We'll flip flop this one out. So what this unit came with, a uh, MIG gun, stick electro holder, ground cable. Um, that's what everything comes with. We'll plug in the stick electrode. So there we go. And then on that, uh, we can have auto set as well, felt material thickness, diameter of the stick electrode, and stick electrode type. Um, let's just see what we got on there, 6013, 6010. 60, so this unit here will run 6010 because it has a, a higher open circuit voltage. Um, so it will run the 6010 electrode. Pretty awesome. So we'll flip flop over to TIG here. So there's our, our uh, TIG auto set lift arc, no high frequent start on this, but we do have remote so we can plug in that foot pedal, but no high freak start so it's a scratch start only. Diameter of our tungsten up to 8th inch, and then obviously our material thickness and it's going to give us a target setting and amperage. Pretty awesome. Now let's go back over to MIG, and then what we'll do, we'll unplug that again. Since we got everything sitting here. And this is just our power block giving us a positive power to the power block. Then we'll go pulse. And then this machine will be set up for pulse with auto set. Now, if you guys are brand new to the, the pulse world, I would recommend starting out with auto set, unless you're familiar with it. But brand new, start out with auto set, tell it what material, tell it the wire, tell it the gas, and then shoot from there because where, where pulse confuses people, you, ch you control wire feed, but you also control arc length. Now arc length is directly related to voltage, but it's different, it's a different number. So I would recommend auto set when you go to pulse, and then we can also pulse weld aluminum with this with a push pull gun. And we'll link that video down below too, because we did a video on the push pull setup that you can get with this. Um, so it, the pulse is generally for a thinner material, less spatter, uh, less heat input, and sometimes a better looking weld. I won't say all the time a better looking weld, but you know, for the most part, you know, a lot of it can be accomplished with straight CV or just MIG welding. But then some people want to go pulse because they want to weld some thin gauge material and it works really well for that. So it's mixing short circuit and spray transfer all in the same time. That's what pulse is. So we're getting the best of both worlds with less heat input, less spatter, and we can weld on thinner material. 
all in all, a very good, well-rounded machine for doing multiple processes. Now, where this is good, or where you should uh, choose this unit, in my opinion, is if you're ever going to TIG weld DC only TIG weld, uh, get the Multimatic. If you're going to stick weld and MIG weld, get the Multimatic. If you're never going to TIG weld, but you're going to stick weld, get the Multimatic. Um, it's where, when you get the unit that only does MIG, people get, they're like, oh, I can't stick with it. No, well, you should have got the Multimatic. It's not that much more money to jump up into the Multimatic, and then you can always leave out the TIG kit and get that later down the road. Um, we've seen a lot of big uh, movement of these in schools because then now we can DC TIG weld, stick, and MIG, so you get exposure to all your students in those. Uh, pretty awesome uh, for the price as well. And then uh, Home Hobbyists, love this unit uh, because it is easy to use, easy to set up. As you can see on the front of that thing, we, we set that up no problem. Um, we're also seeing some small fab shops run this thing because it does have a pretty good duty cycle. It's 60% at 230 amps on mid, 60% um, on stick at 230 amps too. So you, you got a pretty decent duty cycle for the package and machine that you get. Um, I'll flip up the door here and show you on the inside. So there again, if we don't <clears throat> if we don't use auto set, we want to just run straight manual mode. It's going to give us so if we run 75, 25, it's going to give us some recommended parameters on the inside if we don't want to use auto set. Um, so it's always you can fall back on this if you if you forgot or you don't know what you know what to run. That's a great setting. Uh, it gives you aluminum wire welding parameters, stick welding parameters, TIG welding parameters. Now on the inside here, we got our, you can fit a big spool of wire, which is nice for the 255 because you can put a 33 or 50, 44 pound spool in there. You can also put an 11 pound spool in here. Um, and then you got a two drive roll system, which is typical to the Miller setup there. It's got spring loaded drive roll tensioner, two wheel setup. Pretty awesome. Comes with drive wheels, so 35 and 45 drive wheels. Right here is your connection for your push pull gun or your spool gun and then this is your connection for your MIG gun uh, to control the trigger. Now this comes with the MDX gun with the uh, AccuLock consumables so it's a 250 amp gun um, pretty pretty nice they're all quick twist consumables contact tip and nozzle uh, we'll link all those down below as well uh, so you guys can pick up extra consumables for this unit. Uh, what we've noticed with these guns uh, is, is pretty Pretty good reliability. Um, not many come back to a service center, right? Um, but for moderate use, uh, they, they really are pretty nice uh, units. Um, and I like the ball on the end. It gives you a little bit more dexterity when you're moving around, make welding. Um, pretty awesome little unit. But oh, I mean, I, there's not much bad I can say about this other than it doesn't AC TIG weld, which for aluminum, right, we need AC. But uh, it covers all the other uh, processes, and, it, and it's a well-rounded package for the price frame. So we'll link all that down below. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.